Welcome to Lay's Little Golden Books. I hope you all enjoy today's story, and maybe the grown-ups will remember it from their own childhood. MGM's Tom and Jerry Meet Little Quack Story and Pictures by MGM Cartoons A Little Golden Book It was a bright sunny day in the farmyard. The chickens clucked happily, pecking at seeds. The ducks quacked merrily as they dove for tasty bugs. Everyone was happy but Tomcat. Dogs got bones, cows got clover, he muttered as he slunk along. Nobody cares that poor old Tom is fading away from hunger. Happy day, quack, quack, hummed a mother duck on her nest. Tom turned to glare at her. Then a sly smile crossed his face. A duck on a nest meant a duck egg, and that could mean a feast for Tom. Tom hid behind a nearby bush. Swat slap, he caught tasty beetles until he had a fistful of them. Then he sent them rolling one by one right past Mother Duck's nose. She eyed the first ones hungrily. Then with a quick peek at the egg in her nest, she waddled out and snapped up the beetles. One and two and three. Zip! Tom's paw shot out from behind the bushes and snatched that egg right out of the nest. Then home he raced to the farmhouse and got out his frying pan. But while Tom was hunting for butter and salt, pick, pick, quack! That duck egg hatched and out stepped Little Quack. Jerry Mouse, who had been watching from his mouse hole, doubled up with chuckles at the joke on Tom. Tomcat was not a bit amused. He snatched up a knife and started for the duckling with an evil glint in his eye. Jerry Mouse was quicker. He slammed a nutcracker shut on Tomcat's tail. When Tomcat whirled about in rage, Jerry snatched up Little Quack in a running jump, leaped for the window shade, caught it with one hand, and swung into the great out of doors. As Jerry let go, Little Quack spread tiny wings, and they floated down, bump, into a flower bed. When Tom came slinking out the door, darting his hungry gaze about, he did not see a new yellow blossom among the flowers, with a round brown leaf beside it on the ground. Whew! said Jerry as Tomcat disappeared. That was close. Now, young one, where do you live? Quack, said Little Quack happily. Very nice, said Jerry, but where's your mommy? Don't you want to go home? Quack, said Little Quack again, pleased as he could be. Oh, oh, said Jerry, that's a help. Well, come along, young one, we'll try to find your home. So off they started for the farmyard. Quack, said Little Quack. Good morning, Mrs. Hen. Does this chick belong to you? Jerry asked politely when they reached the hen yard. Sakes alive, clucked Mrs. Hen. That's no chick. That's a baby duck. Must be from that new section down beside the pond. I don't know those folks, of course. Thank you, said Jerry. Taking Little Quack by the hand, he started on down the path. A sudden sound made Jerry turn. There came Tomcat padding along with an angry light in his eye. Grrr! As Jerry raced away from Tom, the farm dog blocked his path. Friend of yours? asked the dog, indicating Tom. No, sir, puffed Jerry, shielding little quack. I'm trying to find this youngster's home. Good, said the dog. I'll hold off the cat. You'll find the duck pond first turn to the right, down where the rushes grow. Thank you, Jerry called back over his shoulder as he hurried Little Quack along. When they came to the rushes beside the pond, Jerry could hear a sobbing voice. Oh dear, quack quack, my baby, quack quack, it wailed over and over again. Jerry peeked through the rushes. There on an empty nest sat a mother duck wiping her eyes with one wing. At Jerry's side, Little Quack peeked too. Mama, mama, he quacked. The mother duck looked up and rubbed her startled eyes. Then she scooped up Little Quack under one wing and rushed angrily at Jerry Mouse. Poor Jerry! Was this the thanks he was to get for rescuing Little Quack? No, Mama! cried Little Quack, tugging at his mother's feathers. And she listened while he explained. 
So Jerry got his reward after all. This is the life, said he. He scarcely bothered to look around as Tomcat went racing past with the farm dog at his heels. Tom will never learn, said Jerry with a sigh. Quack, said Little Quack. The end.